Welcome back guys. Today I'll be doing Cape Mathematics Past Paper 2019 Question 5 Part B. It's a matrix question. Let's get started. A and B are two matrices given as A232 X01 minus 120. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. Matrix B 122 231 542 which is also a 3 by 3 matrix. We need to determine the value of x for which A inverse does not exist. Now when we say the inverse doesn't exist, then it means that it's a singular matrix because singular matrix, the determinant is 0. And once you have the determinant to be 0, then the inverse does not exist. So using this concept, I can find what is the value of x if a inverse does not exist so i'll take the first row so i go ahead and i'm finding determinant of a so i take the first row which is 2 x and minus 1. remember you could have used any row or any column but i'm choosing the first row then i'll have the change of sign plus minus and then plus next I am going to get my 2 by 2 matrix by removing row and column. So remove the first row and my first column. I have a 2 by 2 matrix, which is 0, 2, 1, 0. Next, I will remove the first row, but the center, which is the second column, and I will have 3, 2, 2, 0. Next, I remove the first row and the last column. So I remove the last column. And what I have here is 3, 2, 0, and 1. Now my next step is to find the determinant of each 2 by 2 matrix. So the determinant of A is equal to, I'll have 2, open bracket, Find determinant of this, 0 times 0 is 0, minus 1 times 2, that's 2, minus x. Find the determinant of this, so we have 3 times 0, that's 0, minus 2 times 2, that gives me 4. Plus and minus, so this will change to a minus sign. Determinant, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 times 0, that's 0. So continuing with simplifying this, so we have the determinant of A is equal to, I have my 2, but 0 minus 2, that's minus 2. So minus 2 times 2, that's negative 4. The next section, 0 minus 4, that's negative 4. Minus 4 times minus x, that's a positive 4x. 3 minus 0, that's 3. 3 times minus 1, that's minus 3. Now, here we know the determinant is equal to 0. So just to simplify what I have here, minus 4 minus 3, that's minus 7. And it's equal to 0 because whatever is x, it must give me 0 because it states the determinant is 0. Does not exist, so it means the determinant is 0. Solving for x, I carry the 7 over the equal sign, so it becomes a positive 7. Then divide both sides by 4, this cancels, so x is equal to 7 over 4, and this is the value of x. The next question we have given that the determinant of AB is equal to negative 10, show that x is equal to 2. So in this case, the determinant, the product of the determinant exists. And it's equal to negative 10. Now, when we say the determinant of AB is equal to minus 10, it is the same as saying finding the determinant of A times it by the determinant of B, and that will give me minus 10. Now, the determinant of A, forget about that it doesn't exist, this is a different question. The determinant of A, I had worked it out to be 4x minus 7. This time it's not equal to 0. So it is 4x minus 7. Whatever is x will give us a value 
that we multiply by the determinant of b to get negative 10. Now the determinant of b I will need to find. So I will go back to the original matrix for b. So let me write it on my right. The 3 by 3 matrix that was given in the question for b, that's what we have here. Now finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. I am going to take the first row, which is 1, 2, and 5. So I have my first row. Then I have the change of sign, which is plus, minus, and then plus. Now I am going to have the 2 by 2 matrix. So I take the first row and the first column to have 3, 4, 1, 2. Next, I am going to remove the first row along with the second column. So the center will be removed and I am going to have 2, 2, 4, 2. Now I am going to remove the first row and the last column. So once again, my 2 by 2 matrix, 2, 2, 3, 1. The next step is to find the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix. So 3 times 2, that's 6, minus 1 times 4, that's 4. So I have a minus 2. Determinant of the next 2 by 2, 2 times 2, that's 4, minus 2 times 4, that's 8. Next, I am going to find determinant of the final 2 by 2 matrix. 2 times 1 is 2. Minus 2 times 3, that's 6. Simplifying further, 6 minus 4, that's 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. 4 minus 8, that's negative 4. And times it by minus 2, that's positive 8. 2 minus 6, that's 4. So minus 4 and minus 4 times 5, that's negative 20. So 2 plus 8 minus 20, that will give me minus 10. So the determinant of B is minus 10. Now replacing the determinant of B to be negative 10, so I have 4x minus 7 times negative 10 equal minus 10. We have two ways to work this. We can clear the racket or divide both sides by minus 10. So I'm going to clear the brackets. So multiply 4x minus 7 times negative 10 to give me minus 40x plus 70 equal negative 10. Now carrying over the 70, that will become a negative 70. So I will have minus 10 minus 70, that's negative 80. So minus 40x equal negative 80. Next, I divide both sides by negative 40. So what happened here is that this cancels. So x is equal to 2. Here I've shown what was asked. The next question is asking to find the inverse. When you see a to the minus 1, it's asking us to find the inverse. Now we are going to use the information that x is equal to 2. That's when we'll have a determinant for A. Once you have a determinant, you have an inverse. Now, here we're using the determinant is equal to 4x minus 7. And since determinant is defined at x equal 2, then I can use that information that replacing x to be 2, I'll have the determinant for a to be 4 to 8 minus 7, so that will give me 1. The next step is to find the adjoint. Inverse of a matrix is 1 over the determinant of a times the adjoint. So here is the matrix a. It's the same matrix that we have been looking at. But if you realize, I've not replaced x to be 2 x as a value. Now the first step is to find the minor of the matrix. So I am going to eliminate the first row 
and the first column to find the first minor. So the first row, 2, 2, negative 1, and 2, 3, 2, which is the first column. And I'll have the following 2 by 2 matrix. Next, I am going to remove still the first row, but the second column. So removing this, you realize I will have 3, 2, 2, 0. Continuing this trend, I am going to still remove the first row, but the last column, which is minus 1, 2, 0. So now I have the next 2 by 2 matrix, which is 3, 2, 0, 1. Now I'm going to move to removing the second row. So 3, 0, 2 will be removed, then I go back to removing the first column. What is not being removed, we write it to create a 2 by 2 matrix. 2, negative 1, 0, and then I have my 1. Still removing the second row, but now the second column. So I'll have 2 minus 1, 2, 0. 2 minus 1, 2, and 0. Next, I will remove still the second row, but now the last column. So you remove the second row and the last column to get 2, 2, 2, 1. So I have 2, 2, 2, 1. Now the next step is to remove the last row and start removing the next column. So removing the last row and the first column, I will have 2, 0, negative 1, 2. Still removing the last row, but now I'll be eliminating the second column. So I will have 2, 3, negative 1, 2. Now, still removing the last row, but the last column to have the next 2 by 2 matrix, which is 2, 3, 2, 0. Now, finding the determinant of each 2 by 2 matrix, I will have the first matrix 0, 2, 1, 0. So 0 times 0, that's 0, minus 1 times 2, that's 2. So I'll have a minus 2 here. Then the same here, 0 times 3, that's 0, 2 times 2, that's 4. So 0 minus 4, that's minus 4. Determinant of the next, 1 times 3 is 3, minus 0 times 2, that's 0. So 3 minus 0, that's 3. Now determinant of this, 2 times 0, that's 0, minus 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. Negative and negative, that's positive, so I'll have a plus 1. Same thing here, 2 times 0, that's 0, minus 2 times negative 1, that's a negative 2, and negative and negative, that's positive, so I'll have a plus 2. Determinant of the next one, 2 times 1, that's 2, minus 2 times 2, that's 4, so 2 minus 4, that's negative 2. Determinant of the final row, I have 2 times 2, that's 4, minus 0 times negative 1, that's 0, so 4 minus 0, that's 4. Determinant of this, 2 times 2, that's 4, minus 3 times minus 1, that's minus 3. So this will change to a plus, so it's 4 plus 3 to give me 7. Now 2 times 0, that's 0, minus 3 times 2, that's 6. So 0 minus 6, that's negative 6. Now, the next step is to change the signs. So we're creating the cofactors, and we are going to change the signs. So I'll have plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and then I'll have a plus, minus, plus. So this will affect the matrix, so we'll have this remaining minus 2, so the plus will not affect this. But the minus sign will change the negative 4 to a positive 4, 
and the positive 3 will not change because I have a plus sign here. The next row, the positive 1 will change, it will become minus 1, and plus 2, so it will be positive 2, negative and negative, that's positive, so I have positive 2, and then this is positive 4, minus 7, and then minus 6. Now, after having this, I need to transpose. I am getting the adjoint of the matrix. Let me just rewrite what I have here, the cofactors. So, to get the adjoint, I have to transpose this cofactor matrix. And don't forget, I have the determinant is 1. That's from the previous slide. So, here I will have to find the transpose of these cofactor minus 2 4 3 will now become a column and then minus 1 2 minus 1 2 and 2 then I have 4 negative 7 and minus 6 so this is a transpose and it's also the adjoint so to find the inverse it's 1 over the determinant times a transpose so the determinant is 1, so that's why I'll have a 1 over 1, but having 1 over 1 times a cofactor being transposed, this is the inverse. However, 1 over 1 is the same thing as 1, so I can just remove that, and then that will be the inverse. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.